Hi, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the first step in overcoming shyness. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mark Rhodes and welcome back to Massively Improve, the channel that helps you to massively improve with personal development tools, techniques and ideas that actually really do work and are actually quite easy to do. Now shyness is a huge topic, huge for so many people. In fact, if you're really shy, you probably think that most other people are confident. But believe you me, most people are shy in certain situations, or at least a hell of a lot of people are. Um, but when you've got you know, extreme shyness or you're very, very shy, this means for most people that um, when you're around family and close, close, close friends, you're okay. But soon as you're outside of that safety net environment, you actually don't want to talk to anyone and all different things go on, panic, fear, self-talk and all those great things. Um, the first step really to overcoming shyness, there are, there, there are two things. Obviously what's going on firstly is there's an anxiety, there's a fear, there's an uncomfortableness, you know, that actually isn't there when you're talking to close family, close friends. Um, so that you do know already that you can speak to people without feeling anxiety and fear. But it's just that when the context, as we call it, is different, that you're in a different situation, you think about it differently, maybe not consciously, but you think about it differently, and that makes you feel different about it. So with the first step, as I say, there, there are two approaches to the first step. And the first one is you could work on reducing the fear. So before you do that, you've got to figure out a way of measuring your progress, yeah? So a really good way to do that is to use what we call um, a sub level, which is sometimes called a subjective unit of discomfort or various um, variations on, on what the letters actually mean. But I think it was like Joseph Walpin, I think it was 1969 sort of at time, came up with this and it's very simple. And that is you just think about being in a situation where you'd be really shy. Maybe that's talking to someone you don't know out in public or at a party or a business event at work or something like that. You think about having to talk to somebody you don't know um, so that you start to feel uncomfortable about it as if you were in the situation. Then you just ask yourself, how scared am I on a scale of zero to 10? Where maybe zero means this is a walk in the park, I could do it, I could talk to anyone, anywhere, chat to them, love it. Um, and obviously if you're at that stage, you're probably not watching this video. Or 10 is, I know I'm gonna die if I talk to somebody. Now you know you're not really gonna die, it might feel like a 10, so I'd encourage you to make nine your highest one if you can. But once you do that and you say, right, I'm a seven, I'm an eight, I'm a nine, whatever it is for you, and everyone's scale is different, doesn't matter what anyone else has got, this is personally to you, you don't share it with anyone. You've got that scale and you say, right, I'm eight, I'm eight out of 10 or whatever. Um, what you can do is as you go through developing and changing and improving, you check in with yourself and say, okay, um, where am I now? If I was to go and talk to somebody I didn't know at work or at a party or something like that, where am I now, zero to 10? and you will find that you've probably improved. It's gone down to a seven or a six or a five or something like that. Um, it's a really powerful technique, so simple, and a lot of people think, well, that can't work, and it, but it absolutely can. It's your judgment. Um, um, and where you think you are today on a zero to 10 scale of how scared you are or how uncomfortable you are in those situations of being shy, it will change over time and you will actually see the number come down because you're the one making the judgment of how intense that feels. So one approach is to do that and to then go and try different techniques of fear reduction, visualization, affirmations, all those great things. There are videos to all of those on this channel. Um, so just look through the recent videos over the last sort of three, four months. Um, which is say, um, if you're watching this much later than the day it came out, that would be looking back round about sort of mid 2018 onwards. Um, loads of videos on affirmations, reducing fear, changing beliefs, all that sort of thing. But there is a quicker first step. Now stay with me on this. Don't shut down as soon as you start to get where I'm going with this because I'm gonna give you an easy, safe way to do this. The other way is to actually start and just do something. Just say something to somewhere. somewhere. 
And remember, I'm gonna explain how to do this in a safe, easy way. And basically, the, the, the way this works is, if you just take the plunge and say something to somebody, you'll find that your zero to 10 will come down. It should come down even after the first thing you say to the first person. Because you realize on a subconscious level that you survive it and you've actually done it before. Now, it may not go great, it may not go fantastic, it doesn't have to. The key is just saying it. So let me explain to you what I did. Because I was in this situation of being very, very shy for a large number of years. And it was only well into adulthood that I started to change it. And what I said to myself when I wanted to change it was, I need to just get out there and do it. But of course, I was too scared to get out there and do it. So I started to think about, you know, what worried me about it, the fact that I might be stuck, not, not know what to say next, people might ignore me, it might sound stupid, all these sort of things would go through my head. Um, and I thought, well, what situation is there where those things either couldn't happen or it wouldn't matter if they did happen? It wouldn't matter so much if they did happen. And I realised that actually everyday situations where you're dealing with somebody who is providing a service, maybe they're delivering a parcel or a post to your house, maybe you are in a gas or petrol station buying fuel, maybe you're at the supermarket, you're getting some groceries. So when you are at the point of paying or interacting with someone in that situation, that's an ideal time to start to practice saying something. Because if you're anything like me, if you are really, really shy, um, uh, when you go and have to go, you know, because obviously there's avoidance, we can just order online, or you have to go to a shop and buy something, or you have to take a parcel from somebody at the door or something like that, there's no way of avoiding it, and you have to do it. Um, quite typically, if you're anything like I was, I would just like take it and go, thanks. Or I would just like get to the till and go, hand my card over when they said the amount, they give me the card back and receive it, and I go, thank you, bump, and run away. Um, these are the points where we can practice. And all you need to do is just say one thing more than you would normally say. Just make a comment about the weather, the price of things, or how long the line was, or anything like that. Anything, just a throwaway comment. Now the important thing about these throwaway comments is it doesn't matter if the other person doesn't respond. Now if they don't respond, it doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. Firstly, that person may not have heard you. Secondly, they may not have thought you were talking to them, especially if you're in a busy environment like a supermarket or something. Thirdly, they might be really shy, their mind might be somewhere else, they might be thinking of else, it doesn't matter. The key is you opening your mouth and saying something when you normally wouldn't say it. So for me, I started off with, when I was getting fuel for my car, I used to just go and say, pump seven or whatever, give them the card, pay, thanks, run out. And I just started, whenever I went in, I would just start and um, give the card, and while they were processing it, I'd just say stuff like, oh, it's cold out there today, or it's really hot out there today. You know, and I know when you're shy, and I, and I think this is the same for a lot of people, is when you're shy, you think that small talk, are you talking about the weather, talking about the price of things, or things that are going on in the world, they think that small talk is ridiculous, stupid. Um, and a lot of people think that, but, but, but small talk, even for confident people, is the gateway to the next level of conversation. So it's like one of those things that, you know, you really have to do in most situations, is just to get the conversation started. But as I say, we're not looking to start a conversation with this, we're just looking to say more than we would normally say. And remember, if you're doing it with someone who's delivering a package to the house, if you're doing it at a gas or petrol station, you're doing a supermarket a store, something like that, these people work there, they are used to people talking to them. These people also are in a position where you know they ought to just be polite back. But the key is not about them, what they say or do. The key is about you just opening your mouth and getting that first extra piece out to what you would normally say. And then building on that day by day. The thing is, is if you can take that first step and just go for it, then you'll find it becomes easier. You build on it. You've got belief that you can do it. You've done more than you've ever done before and that you can build on that. 
Um, now, there are a few other things. I mean, I would really encourage you to look to take that first step. Um, you can go through the fear type stuff, the police stuff. I'll put links to the end of the video and links throughout the video to them if you want to. But, but that first step, just getting out there, nothing is better than that for moving you along to the next level of this. Um, what I did many years ago, you know, to really push me, you get that point, you say, I'm going to do it, 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 and then it comes to it, and, and you don't do it, and then if that's ever happened to you, you should happen to me loads. And I just sort of started saying to myself, I didn't even know how I come up with it, but um, I would just say to myself, it's not going to be the end of the world, and then I'll just go do it. It won't be the end of the world, bomb, or I'm not going to die, <laughs> and then I'll just go do it. Um, I think that just for a brief few seconds, um, it overrode the sort of inbuilt fear and stuff and, and, and got perspective around it that at the end of the day, I'm only saying something pleasant and nice to another person in a store or in a situation. This isn't, you know, out there. It feels like it's out there. It feels like it's really big. I know, I know. Um, but the reality is it isn't. Um, and other people are doing it all of the time, every day, aren't they? And, you know, they're just doing it. And that's what we needed to do and what I needed to do. And, and, and if this is an area you need help, this is what you need to do is to embrace that and think, you know, not the end of the world. I'm going to go do this and get that first one done. Then you can build on it with further steps and things that I cover in future videos on this channel. And, you know, I've even covered in past videos as well. So, hope you found that useful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up like on the video. If you're not currently subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and then you'll get notified when I release new videos. If there's a bell notification on your device, please hit that as well. Then YouTube will notify you about every video I release. I release a new video every Sunday to help you to massively improve. Have a brilliant week and get out there and start talking to people. It's life changing.